Hello, everyone. My name is Miku Getchev. I lead developer relations for the Angular team at Google. In this video, I will share how we improve stack traces in Angular version 15. Once a year, we run our developer satisfaction survey. After we analyzed the results for debugging challenges people faced, we noticed that there is a lot of confusion about error messages. Together with the Chrome DevTools team, we looked into this further and found a lot of opportunities for improvement in stack traces. To show you what I mean, let us first see how challenging the debugging experience could be with this simple component. Here, App Component has a submit method in which we set a loading flag to true, send a request, and change the loading flag to false. If you get an error in the method, your stack trace will look something like that. If you expand to look at the structured stack trace, things get even messier. You see a bunch of call frames, none of them related to the call that you actually altered. While building Angular apps and working on Angular DevTools, this was most of the nightmare in debugging I experienced, together with stepping into Zone.js. Now look at this. We see the same stack trace coming directly from the JavaScript Virtual Machine D8. But when we expand it to explore the structure stack trace, we see something way more meaningful. In fact, it is only links to source code that we altered. I'm so excited about this improvement. It will benefit every single Angular developer dozens of times every single day. Let me explain the improvements with it step by step. First, that's the messy stack trace you're used to be getting. Producing such a cryptic error is blocking you from using the most powerful tool when debugging, reading your error message. The first thing we do now is to make the stack trace relevant. So we remove all the call frames coming from the code that you actually didn't alter. We lose context here, but it was not that helpful anyway. We do that by automatically instructing Chrome DevTools from the Angular CLI that these scripts are not relevant for debugging. The next step is powerful. It links the stack traces by using Zone.js, where we use the new async stack tagging API to concatenate stack traces from asynchronous tasks and stitch them together. This way, you can trace what happened between different macro tasks and micro tasks. This additional context is very valuable because it shows how the user clicked the submit button. After that, we triggered the request. We called fetch and the execution failed. We're working on improving that a little further. See that click listener? It's coming directly from code generated by the Angular compiler, and it is not that meaningful. Even though it points to a template, we still see JavaScript rather than HTML. The next thing we're working on is to make stack traces friendly by mapping calls coming from HTML directly to your template. And you know what I love the most in this improvement? When setting breakpoints, I will never step into the Angular's runtime or Zone.js ever again. I get debugger supporting Chrome DevTools and proper source tree. And this all works by default. Just make sure you ng-update.